Greetings everyone, the Good Tonight here, and today we're doing a review from a very particular little company called Smith Optics. You may have heard of them, they make the uh, infamous boogie regulator that I have here, as well as the uh, SOEP, SOEP, the uh, Special Operations Eyewear Package. Yes, that is the one. So, what we have here, we've got the regulator that's been slightly modified, we're going to go ahead and review this one first, as this is the first one I've had any experience with. So, the Smith Optics boogie mandatory regulator. So, what you got here is up there at the top you see those little air holes that can be opened and closed with these little tabs here. Yep, that is what is called a regulator. You're regulating the airflow. Theory being, air come in here and old air go out here. That's supposed to prevent fogging. Supposed to. So, my experience with these, a couple of years back, before I had LASIK, was it wasn't a terribly good time if you stopped moving at all. Ever. So, they're a unique little fit. These ones have a customized headband. Generally, they come with these uh, garbage rubber straps, but it looks like they've upgraded them to these cool little uh, small woven bands. So these are pretty low, they're incredibly low profile. That's the whole thing here. You got really good field of view and a very low profile. However, Sometimes the low profile might be too low, like uh, lowering your car and dragging the, uh, the undercarriage on the ground, or hitting the slight bump and having your engine block fall out. You can go too low. Do not believe the limbo lies. So, it's a good fit, is the cool thing. Everything's tight. Now, if you like to, if you frequently do eyebrow raises like I do, because just sketchy stuff happens around you consistently, then uh, these are slowly going to work their way after like one tr one eyebrow raise you work this lower part up into your eye as uncomfortable which is why I can be face. as you can see it's not the most comfortable fit if you get to that uh, level your um your results may vary however they're relatively comfy they are getting really warm on the inside because well like I said we're not moving and if I was doing some exercise, or wearing body armor, or moving around at all, if I'm moving, good. Second, I stop fog. So, they're more of a ride in a ride on a motorcycle, or on one of those little Okinawan scooters. As soon as you get a red light, you're going to fog up. But in the meantime, great view. Nice eye protection. They are mil-spec rated for the eye protection, like the ESS goggles, which is cool, neato. And yeah, all that stuff. So these are really basic. This headband's pretty small. Um, they're a decent enough fit. The main thing I've ended up doing was taking the elastic shock cord they have with the Velcro for the helmet setups. And for airsoft purposes, you can put that on a little metal mask. And I'm assuming anything else you want to protect your face with, you can add on to there. So that's pretty cool. So, simple little design. A little pull tabs and a little holder there. And there's not a whole lot to these. The, uh... Protective foam here is just kind of glued on, and these ones are really, really basic. So, so of course, I showed you the clear ones. Naturally, they also make a nice dark lens version for if you're out during the day, doing day stuff, cruising around, stuff of that nature. Now, outside of the boogie regulators, what came about, presumably second, I don't have a lot of information from the company, unfortunately, but then you end up with these uh, ones over here. They look a lot like the regulators. But this is the SOEP. As you can see, those slots are permanently affixed open. There's no extra metal. And again, you've got... The padding's a bit different here, actually, is it? The padding's pretty similar. Very low on the middle and then sort of feel, uh, juts out to the side. But these ones actually have a 35 millimeter band. So more like what you're accustomed to with the uh, ESS goggles. And these are kind of like just screwed in there real quick. Just a couple little screws and otherwise really, really similar. Now, supposedly, these ones have less fogging issues. These also got a little cover here. So if you want to helmet mount them, like old school 2000 invasion of Iraq stuff going on there. So it's good to have goggles on you. You never know when you're going to need them. These ones fit a bit better. Um, yeah, these got the clear lens. Supposedly, these ones don't fog up as often. However, I have yet to test that theory, so stand by if I have a second video out in the near future. Either they failed or they worked, but either way, we'll have an answer. So, as you can see, these ones, again, tight fit. You can do the same eyebrow thing if you hate yourself. 
So again, probably wear these with a helmet. Do I have a helmet available? Stand by one second. Do, 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 do. Dead hooker storage. You can ignore that. Um, let's see. So we throw this helmet on here. Oh god, I hit the band. I have hit the band. It's down my head. Alright, so this is going to be problematic. Might be better to just mount these onto the helmet. Let's see what we can make happen. Dun dun dun. Alright. Oh, nope. Still. It's that cam fit. Alright, let's see if we can make that work. So, we got that going on. We'll just ignore how immensely uncomfortable that is. And uh, yeah, that solves our... That solves one problem and creates a myriad more. Okay, that's immensely uncomfortable. But it's there! It's working, I guess. It might be a lot easier to just have this chilling up here on the helmet, so... Yeah, that solves our uh, eyebrow issue. Ventilation still seems decent. And yeah, so... Let's try mounting that on the helmet. I haven't actually given this a shot yet. So... No time, like... The present. Let's go ahead and throw that on our little bit here. Cooperate. Yeah, it's probably better to have those elastic bands. They make life a lot easier. Okay. Decent fit. Might get a little scratched up with the way we got it on there, but for all intents and purposes. Alright, so we got that going. We throw this down real quick and see what we got. So, yeah, decent fit. And we can shrug. We can do the eyebrow raise. So, yeah, that solves that problem entirely. So, um, if you have these, and you're going to be wearing them to do literally anything, uh, have a helmet, possibly a hat, but regardless, some form of head protection, and that will serve you very, very well. So... Now we are completely nerded out. Yes. And it's way too bright to be using Nod, so honestly we really don't need this here at the present moment, but good to have. Oh, your fingers can get caught in there. Neat. Alright, so. If you want really low... Okay, so honestly. Again, mind you, I'm in an air-conditioned room without movement. But, these aren't getting that uh, same heating issue I had with the uh, regulators. Which I can tell you from experience will absolutely fog these ones. Seem to be doing all right. I do have a uh, eyelash kind of a uh, gone up on its own accord, and is interfering with other eyelashes. Not terribly comfortable, but we can see we have a huge field of vision. Honestly, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing goggles at all. And that's kind of what you want. Because even when I wear glasses, you have this pretty obvious outlook the whole time. These ones you can see really clearly. So if they don't fog, we might have a really we might have a winner here. Because the ESS ones, I fix the fogging by tearing off all the foam on the outside, like you probably shouldn't, because that keeps the dust out, but the air passes straight through them and they stay relatively cool, so we might have some luck with these. Again, future video, I'll give you a thumbs up or thumbs down on that fogging thing. I'm going to go throw on my play carry and do a bunch of push-ups in the living room and see what happens. So, jolly good there, and you just pull that open. Yeah, so these would probably benefit immensely from a uh, little elastic straps that I put on my mask, so pretty neat. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. That's all you need for eye protection, just really anything to keep your eyes safe. And when not in use, you can pop them off the helmet and uh, throw a little protective band over here to A, protect the lens, and B, reduce any reflective glaring and issues you would otherwise have. Then just put these back on the helmet. Do -do. So the clear ones, big benefit here if you're really curious, is um, they work really well with night vision. Again, the really low profile. Kind of a big deal in that regard. The dark ones, better for the uh, daytime hours. Help you with that extra eye protection. So, that's all there really is. They're also the uh, SOAP, they also have the dark lens one here. And they come with this cool little carrying baggie which I thought was pretty neat. I'm definitely going to use this bag because I can put any and all goggles in there and solve my issues. So, that's been the review of the uh, Smith Optics. The boogies and the, well, the regulators and the SOEP. And yeah, that's all there really is to it. So, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I will definitely be getting back to you on whether or not the SOEPS fog 
like the regulator. So cheers, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.